Braxton Thorne. And the bad news. So the good news is that the OP1 spits out MIDI information all the time and it can be very useful. The bad news is that it does it on a USB cable and all of my other instruments have this 5 pin traditional MIDI. Fortunately you can get this box for a little bit more than a hundred dollars and it's gonna do the job for you of converting the USB type MIDI signal to a traditional 5 pin one in this video I'm going to show you a few examples of what you can do with the OP1's MIDI signals and I'm going to be using the Volca bass to show you all of this. Of course this could work with most other instruments. Number one, keyboard. This is basically using the OP1 to play the Volca. Just to clarify, everything you're hearing comes out of the Volca. Nothing is connected to the OP1's audio output and plus the volume knob is set at zero. Start, stop. using the OP1's sequencer. Thank you. 
Number four, tape. So now I'm connecting an audio cable out from the OP-1 and what you're gonna hear is both the Volca and the OP-1. This setup is like a five track looper. Four on the OP-1 and a fifth one with the Volca bass. <laughs> 